Hey everyone, just a, uh, another video here today on creating invoices from charges on a job. And there's a, a few different scenarios I might go through with you today. Then I'll push that invoice across to my example zero account, just so you can see how it arrives on your accounting end. So I'm on the job screen at the moment. I've got a few example jobs here, and I'm gonna, going to be working with this job here, new house for Mr. Jenks. So you'll see on this job card here, we've got an unbilled amount of 1,959. If I click on this job card, those charges there will exist under charges in here. Now these particular charges have been added by my subcontractors um, or any, any staff members that I've got using Next Minute and timesheeting within Next Minute. As you'll see, they've got buy and sell rates against each of these entries which obviously makes up the total for the amount of labor we want to be charging for. This particular job has also got a couple of materials uh, in there from a price list that I've actually uploaded into Next Minute. So we've got some cement and something else there, I've got no idea what it is, but it is a good example. And finally, under disbursements, I've got plumbing subby there, just 10 hours that uh, my subcontractor might have invoiced me for, applied as a chargeable amount on the job. So getting charges to the job, obviously like I've mentioned, via timesheets from your crew, um, from your price list, which is available under your sale items there. I've just got some materials loaded in as an example. And the other chargeable area is just under uh, disbursements where I've added in a um, subcontractor amount. There's also another way to add chargeable amounts to a job. So say it was from one of your um, suppliers or maybe a, another contractor that was invoicing you for work, which you then wanted to pass on to, um, to your client. To do so, you can bring that in from supplier invoices by opening up the job card, going into supplier invoices here, then going add, and you've got a number of options to uh, add your supplier invoice in. If you're currently getting those emailed to you from like a, a PDF format or just, you know, even a handwritten note, you can come in here and just go blank supply invoice and then fill it out as appropriate. If you've got a, um, a system such as Xero or MYOB, uh, which you're plugged into, then you're going to be able to open that up and bring in your bills from that system. So if I click on Xero here, this is going to connect me to my Xero and it's going to show me all my bills on the left hand side and all my jobs on the right hand side. I've got a filter running for May, so I just need to adjust my filter. And we'll go back to uh, last month and see if there's anything there. Just give that a moment. And there we go, we've got a whole lot of bills on the left hand side, straight from zero bills. And then our jobs, we want to match those up with a next minute on the right hand side. So for example, Bayside Wholesale Bill here. I'm gonna grab that. Then I'm going to go select job. There's my uh, most recent job, that new house that we're working on. So I'll click that one. I'll choose to edit as actual charges. And I'm also going to set a markup on that of 15%. Finally, I know what that is for. So I'm going to bring that in as a disbursement charge and then simply go import. So that's going to do its thing. It'll start its import and I'll reconnect to zero to see what else is left. And now that's disappeared from my zero bills on the side. If I close this off now, we'll see it's imported against the job. And if I give this a quick refresh here, this job card, you'll now see the unbilled amount go up. There we go, 2799. So back to the charges. How do we invoice these? Go into charges here and you'll see create invoice right up the top. And if I click on there, it's going to ask me, do I want to invoice for all my items or just maybe some I've selected? I'm going to go all items in this case as I haven't selected any previously. From here, you can choose to keep the sections and the, the sections are generally speaking, the, um, the date someone's added a charge or um, you know the title of a supplier invoice or you can choose to combine all into one section to keep things simple for your client. Then the next screen is obviously, uh, do you want to invoice for a partial amount of this or a full amount of all charges? You can invoice for a part amount, but in this case, I'm going to go full amount. Then the next screen is going to ask me to confirm any details to be displayed on this invoice, and I can just go save now. 
Perfect. And that's creating an invoice off charges. There's all of those charges I loaded in. And uh, further to this, all we need to do is go sync with zero or sync with myob if that was the case. I'll send that across and I'll show you how it appears in the zero end of things. Cool, so we now have got an invoice number which has come from zero. Let's jump into zero and take a look. Just give this a refresh here and see what comes up. There we go, invoice number 44 has arrived and I can click on that to actually view it. There it is. Brilliant, so stay tuned for the next video. I'm sure that was very useful, especially if you're not currently invoicing off charges. Uh, we might have a look at uh, invoicing off a quote next time around. Thank you.